take a picture. It'll last longer. Welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. I'm back. Ah, ah, I forgot. I was sunburned. We all went to the beach and Fuka got sand lice. I don't think we're going to go to Tartarus tonight. Bummer. But we do have Igus now. A character which, my God, even my first time playing, I, I uh, she kind of creeped me out. She still kind of do. These are your lodging quarters. Very well, she'll be by your side at all times. You really don't have to do that. Do you think anyone would be able to tell she's a robot? I don't, I mean, you'd really have to be looking for a robot to figure that out. Are you, I mean, think about it. Yukari, she has a mile long neck. I don't, <laughs> something about the proportions. Uh, they ain't normal. As long as she acts normal, no one will suspect a thing. Uh... It's honestly been a while though. Maybe she's nice. And I'm just being a big old poopy head. I could be wrong. Anyways, back to the daily grind. Ooh, we got a level up. Let's go. And I skipped it because the frame rate's insane in this game. Good morning. That's actually freaky. Please wake up. No, don't be an alarm clock. She. You've awakened safely. Mission complete. I'm proud of you. Yay. You did it, I guess. And I never do it again. Get out of my room! It has not triggered yet. Ugh. The paper on the wall says, do things five minutes early. Oh, so now you're going through my stuff. She acts this way even on the FEMC route? Therefore, I woke you up five minutes in advance. That's disgusting. What a, wait, what's going on? Hey, are you awake? What's up? That girl disappeared <laughs> and you can't find her anywhere. Think you can help us out? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm kind of busy today. She might have gone out on her own, like she did in Yakushima. I am not a girl. I am Igis, and I am here. Huh? But how'd you open my door? Uh, Igis, how did you... She was asleep, so I unlocked the door. That's unlawful entry. <laughs> Still a funny line. Didn't we tell you to stay in the command room at night? I propose to be on standby in this room from now on. Is this acceptable? Where is this coming from all of a sudden? If there is a problem, then I will address it promptly. Uh, well, you're both girls, so if she doesn't mind, I guess it's okay. I, can I talk about this? Like, it'll be pretty crowded in here though. Are you okay with that? Absolutely not. Dude. Sorry, I guess. I guess that's a no. I will comply. Darn right you will. Oh, well. I'll have a room prepared for you on the third floor so you can stay nearby. Oh, and don't leave the dorm by yourself, okay? Especially without a disguise. I will do as commanded. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> Just woke up. I have practice this morning, so I gotta go. Practice before school? Jesus. Everyone goes to a place called school in the morning. Yeah, it really sucks. I comprehend. Huh. She's like, yep, learning lots. Jesus Christ. That's quite the entrance for the character, though. Well, her real entrance was everyone say, oh my god, she's so beautiful. Anyway, exams will be posted today. Oh. I saw y'all, I saw y'all in the comments grilling me. This guy, this guy graduated high school? Freaking F off. What's up? Hey, I was thinking, after we defeat all the shadows and the dark hour disappears, what's gonna happen then? Hmm. World peace. Yeah, but regular people don't even know about the dark hour. It means no one ever know anything we've done. It kind of sucks, don't you think? Well, it's better than thousands and thousands dying. That's my stance on things. Okay, here we go. How'd I do? I mean, I already know I screwed up. You earned a pretty high score? What the d You feel as if some of your classmates are staring at you. What happened? You know, I got a passing grade. I got above passing. I you all owe me an apology. Anyway, Ikari, I hope I have your matching persona. <laughs> well, what do you know? I do. Let's chill. Cool. Want to stop somewhere on the way home? I could do that. Oh. The, uh... Dang, you rarely go to this place. Especially as, like, a femsey. Like, you're never gonna go here. Well, I guess if you really want to gift flowers to a girl. I don't know when that would happen. Can you feel happy when you go to a flower shop? There's so many colors, and they're all so pretty. 
Uh, not really. I dream about having a room just full of flowers one day. <laughs> that is an expensive room. <laughs> What's your favorite flower? Uh, I like this one because it sounds like gerbera. That, no, it sounds like gerbil. And I imagine she just like said a flower that sounds like one that exists. <laughs> I like those too. It's like they're cute, but full of energy too. Yeah, and they, when they run on the wheel, oh, it's so cute. Like how they come in so many different colors. Exactly. Did you watch Hamtaro? Great show. Surprisingly disturbing. A bit on the, a bit on the pale, but back in the day, my house used to be filled with flowers. My mom really liked flowers, so she always brought a bunch of them. She'd decorate with the others I'd pick too. That's probably why I like them so much. For a while, there was a time I didn't like seeing flowers. I'm bringing back memories. They remind me of what it is beautiful can quickly wither away. Jesus turned into a buzzkill. Um, but I don't feel that way lately. I feel like getting some flowers from my own room. <laughs> I wonder why. I don't understand this myself. Maybe it's because, I don't know, she's feeling better about things. She recently did get some closure on the topic. It's not good closure, but hey, she's not in the unknown forever. That's it. I'm buying a whole bunch of flowers today. Excuse me, can you make a big bouquet for something like uh, 3,000 yen? Huh. No. So for that price, it'll just be a huge bunch of baby breaths? Ugh, no thanks. Hey. She's a student, that's all she's got. I feel her. This economy, Yukari, I'm broke too. You set up to purchase a small bouquet and return to the dorm. Well, there was money. I didn't, I didn't buy nothing. Hi, how was your day? Honestly, we, we didn't do too bad. Like, I'm happy, with the, I'm happy with the exam results. It's all right. That's great, I'm happy for you. Did you see Mitsuru Senpai's score? She's amazing. In two weeks, the moon will be full. Uh. Yeah, dude, those freaks with Apis seats are we anyway. Uh, wait, I mean, the lost. Probably shouldn't complain about them. It's not their fault. So stupid shadows. Why to call them freaks? Ugh, I'm so insensitive. It is possible to end this. Six shadows remain. If we can eliminate them, the dark hour vanish. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so what are you trying to say, I guess? So fighting's more important than studying? Because <laughs> I agree 100%. Right, right. Okay, we're going today. Hopefully everyone's in a good mood. Because if not, you're about to be. Put on your dukes. Put on your... Oh, should we use Aegis? I never actually used Aegis in a playthrough. Because one, when she shows up, every shadow for like five floors just has Zeo. So F it. I'm going to use her this playthrough. And we're going to hear... I need your help! Like 50 million times. I'll show you what I'm made of. Uh, those bedroom eyes, though. Junpei's been ticking me off, so he's on the bench. And yeah, we're just gonna, like, we're just gonna give it our best shot. Secretly, this is a fundraiser, so we don't have to keep selling everything we own to afford the quiz game. But yeah, next block, here we come. Unfortunately, if I recall correctly, this is one of the more boring ones. There's not a lot of standout things. We even lose access to the purple face guy with the big effing nose. So really, it's all downhill from here, but no, it's just, no. someone had to be the middle block, I guess, but let's see what we got. Oh, these guys don't even have a weakness. Stinky. Oh, freak. That was a lot of damage. But on the plus side, though, from what I recall, well, I guess maybe weak to a lot of stuff. Yeah, she has one kill rush, which hits really hard, but also Swiss strike. And you get a... I'm so immature. When she summons her persona, she, she just, just the pose. It doesn't look right. All right, floor 72. We got these, uh, man. Shadows are really effing weird, huh? This is, this is just plain silly. Our call about these guys is. There's more than one, Fuka. Not again the semantics here, but yeah, they are strength arcana, I'm fairly certain. Let's try and use our Pyro charm, sexy dance. I just realized this is nuts. She has this while Mitsuru. Easy mode diff. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, Mitsuru only has what's it called? Marin Karen. She got actually ratioed by Jack Frost. We're doing pretty respectable damage, but yeah, hopefully they just kind of clobber each other. 
god. If only you could have this actually good of RNG on normal mode, that would be beautiful. Because I just remember back in the day, like, over and over again, just, like, resetting to get good RNG when I would try these sort of maneuvers. And, oh, I can't activate Orgia mode like that? Crud. Oh, well. Not that I need it. But maybe there will be some situations where... Oh, right. That reflects. Didn't think about that. But my point being, I guess is unique. She is the only character that gets Orgia mode. Which I wish I could demonstrate it. Pretty much just, like, increases her damage, like, to the extreme for a turn or two. And then she, like, peters out. When Orgia mode ends, she goes... <laughs> <laughs> Such a stupid joke. <laughs> Would you believe it? They stayed charmed. For the entire battle. God, I keep doing that. There we go. Easy as pie. I'm even surprised. Wow. So I've grinded up here in Tartars for a bit. And yeah, we we need some stronger personas. So I guess joins us at level 30. And we're currently level 25. So we're a little behind. Ooh, here's an idea. Shisa. Ah, oh, but we're one level away. Crud. What does Gale Slash do? It's not really going to help us. Is it just me, or is, like, every other Persona in 3 have, like, the weirdest, like, skill distribution and stat distribution? Like, they just don't make any sense. But this was my first Persona, so, like, I guess I never noticed. But, yeah, it's a little scuffed. We could potentially make Power, who could maybe get a little more... No, Power, we have not established the Justice link yet, so we'd get nothing. Oh my god, what do I do then? This rarely happens to me, but the feeling I'm feeling right now- Whoa, can we show that on YouTube? Hold up. The feeling I have is just, man, you go to a restaurant, and you're so hungry, you'll eat anything, and you see that menu, and you're like, bro, what is this garbage? What is- Bewilder? Come on, man. So when that happens, you know what? You just effing leave. Yeah, I'm out of Tartarus for today. I cannot- I know we just got here. You know, it looks that way to you, but for me, I've been here a minute. F this. I'm out of here. I gotta figure out a way to beat that tower. Huh. Oh well, it'll come eventually. Dude! Summer break starts tomorrow! It's time to meet some cuties at the beat. We literally just did that. I mean, you did that. I... I saw a tree. <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. Come on, this involves you too, you know? I'm not gonna help you pull Junpei. If anything, that would be the opposite. Who knows what might happen for you during summer break? Keep that attitude up, and you're gonna miss all the opportunities to meet someone. Oh darn, whatever will I do? Summer vacation, oh my god, you're the last person I wanna see up before summer, Jesus. Holy dump. Oh, he's talking about Carl Jung, that was cool. That's like the one, now I feel like an idiot. In conclusion, I think it's a shame to give up on alchemy when we've come so far. It's better for young adults to strive for unusual goals that they might lead more exciting lives. No. No. I'm sorry, but like, we need farmers and stuff, dude. After all, from the perspective of ancient peoples, modern science may as well be magic or alchemy. If you work very hard, you might be able to discover your own form of magic. The real magic we discovered is the power of bond. I'm gonna stop myself. Ah, uh, Shiyome-san. Eh. Miss Kano called and stopped you? About the club? Do you know about the fellowship we've been doing at another school? You'll all get to play tennis at a school in the countryside. Imagine that fresh air. And at night, there'll be delicious food in a hot spring. Eee! Doesn't that just sound wonderful? Oh yeah, I forgot I was on volleyball or tennis. I forgot the sport, apparently. In two days from now, you'll practice here for a week, then leave for the other school. Don't forget, okay? What, what, when does this happen? It seems the club will be meeting at school two days from now. Bummer. Uh, sounds all right, but I, I kind of got my own thing going on. And come to think of it, now that our um stats are up, specifically, like, yeah, we're smart now. We're smart. We can, we can have something new on Sunday, so that's taken care of. As for stuff to do outside of school, I am con of scarred. Oh, thank God, Fuka, you're here. Katone-chan, you've been cooking club today. Did you forget again? Yeah, you know. Well, I guess you do always have a lot on your mind. <laughs> well, shall we go? Yeah, yeah. I to just run and get the matching persona, but here we go again, y'all. Woo! What should we make today? Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> she starts bawling her eyes. <laughs> I know it's such a failure. No, it's chill. It's chill. Just I keep messing up. It's not a problem with how I make the recipe. How do I put this? 
While I'm making it, I start thinking that it's not going to come out right away. Uh, I'm always like that. It's like I'm bad at imagining things in a positive way. I keep imagining that nothing is going to go right. Uh, stop doing that. Oh my god, Katone! <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Fuku can never be sarcastic. I don't even think you can be sarcastic in Japanese. That's just like, it's just like you're a liar. If only there's something I was actually good at. Make a, make, make a robot and have it fight with the, oh, that's literally just I guess. I wasn't there. I'm surprised you remembered. Why, well, that's just something that I like. It's not something I can be proud of. Says literally who? When I was young, it was my dad's hobby to work on complicated music equipment. You know, like a nerd. He'd fix things like broken amplifiers and headphones, where one side would be broken. Dude, that's what literally happened to me right now. So I'm sorry I called you a nerd, but like, you know, hey, can we call him up? Like, I loved watching him working on those things when I was little. That's probably why I became good with machines. But I don't think I could use machines to repay everyone's kindness. When we really need help with fighting or technology, we have the Carijo Group's support. I want to find something that only I can do. Something that people rely on me for. You sound like... Like, that is... Like, only you. Only people can go to you. I know it's not literal, but, like, that's asking a lot. But come on. Just give it a shot. Maybe her parents are like, oh, you can't have a job doing this. You know? But, like, we need welders, bro. I can't say this because I'm an influencer, but we need people who can weld really good. I'll help you find it. We can do it together. I'll, I'll hold your mask, okay? Like, Thank you. You really are a leader after all. Okay. We should make something before it gets too late. I've been blabber mouth all day. If we want to make something that we can take back to everyone, I think cookies would be best. You decide to make some effing cookies. You <laughs> mixing. <laughs> you kneaded the cookie dough, cut out the shapes, and took them to the oven. Hmm. I've never made cookies before. Heck, I don't even remember the last time I ate one. Just be on that chicken and rice grind. I'll stop myself. These cookies out, came out pretty easy. Ooh. Ooh. If you give them to someone, who gives a freak? Okay. katoni chan you're done already. I was just tasting the batter, and you're... I'm still measuring the flour, I mean... Fuku's hands and legs are covered in flour. That is actually kind of adorable. How on your legs, though? What did you do? In order to avoid staying here late in the night, you insist on helping Fuka cook. God. You're putting the flour in... The basket? But it's falling out the bottom. Oh, so that's how you melt butter quickly. I don't even know what... The... You somehow defended the dough from all Fuka's attempts to deviate from the recipe. All the cookies survived. The gingerbread men were not cut in half. Wonderful. It came out right. <laughs> That's amazing. It came out right. It wouldn't have happened if you weren't here. <laughs> Thanks a lot, leader. You saved my fun again. But it actually came out right. You saw, oh, dude, is she the robot? What? The For the first time ever, something I cook actually tastes good. Fuka's giddy with excitement, even though she got absolutely carried. I'm just teasing. But on your legs, Fuka! How on your legs? What did you do? Anyway. Then again, you pretty much did everything. Is she gonna have her Junpei arc too? Oh great, the leader's gonna lecture us on how to kill shadows? I'm not even gonna tell you their weaknesses. I bet you already know. That would actually be funny. I caused you all this trouble again, but I'm the one who wants to help you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll try harder next time. This is like, dude, she actually needs a counselor. This sucks. Also, what the frig is this? Three figures enter. Again with you bozos? Ugh. Good evening. I'm glad to see that you're well. Dude, why do you never wear a shirt? Don't you get cold? Don't look at his chest. Don't look at his chest. Don't look at his chest. Here's the pills. The Thanks. Incidentally, I see that they've again added a new ally to their ranks. Well, I suppose it's more of a pet than an ally. Dude, she's got guns for hands. Makes no difference to me. Huh. It seems that what you told us before about their intentions was true. How lamentable. Now we have no choice but to intervene. 
It is up to each individual how he will use the strength granted him. But to erase the Dark Hour would be denying the very power they possess. We cannot tolerate that. Do whatever you want. Hold it! What are you gonna do? I know they asked you to come back. You're starting to piss me off. They're going down, you hear me? And if you're on their side, then you're going down too. Like I said before, it doesn't concern me. Hello. <laughs> oh, frick, I forgot you're here. My name is Ken Amata. I'll be staying here for a while. Yeah, yeah. I... Oh, Jesus. How am I going to do this? I'll try to stay out of everyone's way, so don't mind me. I'll try to stay out of your way too, Busta Brown. Ken, huh? Hmm. He keeps staring at me. It's like he wants something. Nah, he's probably just shy. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but there's something about him. Maybe that's why he's more mature than I am. What do you think? Uh, no comment. I hope Ken Kuhn won't be involved in this. <laughs> he might be. That's true. akutsuki san did say he has the potential. But a child soldier? What are we? Monsters? Yeah, I... He moved in the dorm, but he's not a member of Cease. Yet. <laughs> I'm talking about anything about shadows. All right. It won't be that bad. Just try to get along with him, okay? Uh, no, Jesus Christ. How do I How do I avoid talking about this? Jesus. I'll try my darndest to not pay him any mind. But today is the day we can potentially start the... No! Why today? Who is it? Who? <sighs> Bebe. I probably should. I was about to say we could start the sun, but I have nothing to do today. Would you like to... Wait, don't I have something to do today? Oh, no, it's a Sunday. Freak. Anyway, he asked first. I'm gonna give him some sugar cookies. You know he got that sweet tooth. Here we are at the records. I wonder what music he listens to. I bought some traditional Japanese. <laughs> Why am I surprised? It was help me remember Nihon. Ah! Cool. Speaking of Japanese music... I would love the sound of the crickets. It is so very soothing. Dude, I cannot relate. I hate that crap. Baby is staring off into the distance. Oh, how about we? How about you, Katone-sama? Do you like the sounds of crickets? Because <sighs> you have to be, you have to be a butt kiss in this effing game. I have to say. Oh, I love it. I'm a reflection of you because I'm wearing the temperance mask. <laughs> they should be a famous musician, no? I would like for my aunt to hear them chirp. They don't have crickets in France? Honestly, I don't even know what France looks like. And I'm French! I suck at this! Jo anyway. Want some day-old cookies? Or potentially two-week-old fries? Nani? <laughs> A present for me? Wow, this is amazing. Kotone-sama, you made, no? Très bien. Wishy! Japanese sweets are the best. Dude is making me juggle languages. I don't even know English. Stop. I try to get an accent, coach. Which is not the word for it, I found out. And I can't, you know, I ain't got that kind of money. I'm not trying to lose my, like, southern, southern accent. But sometimes it slips out. And it could, you know, it could mess with the, the reading of a line, etc. So I'm not trying to assimilate. But it's like a bad habit I'm trying to break. Also, I just wanted to sound British. Like, that'd be fun. But special training for tennis begins today. <laughs> I actually have no idea what this will be like. What's up? It's been a while. You trained all day in preparation for August. Keep your eye on the ball. Come on. I don't see those legs moving, girls. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Make sure you rotate your shoulders. Stretch your wrists and ankles, too. Why would we... Our ankles? Now let's start off with some running. Concentrate on lifting your thighs. All right, go. Straight up, nothing has happened for the last three days. It's seriously, you go to school, and then you come back. They... Man, they did not have a lot of budget with P3, bro. God damn. Whoa. What's going on? Sorry it's, on to wake you. it's only half. What happened? I detect a shadow. Please hurry to the fourth floor. Huh? No, really. What? What is it? It's too early to... What's going on? There's a shadow in the city. Yamagishi found it by chance. But the moon isn't full yet. Actually, it seems to be just a normal shadow. You made us wake up in the middle of the night for a normal shadow? However, it is outside of Tartarus. Oh, it's near Naganaki Shrine. Akihiko went ahead since he was in the vicinity. I'm sure he can handle it alone. But let's get ready just in case. Gotcha. 
Yes, this is Fuka. I'm here. Sorry, but I think you guys better come right away. What the dump is it? What's wrong? Is it a powerful one? No, the shadow's been defeated. In fact, it was already defeated when I got here. <sighs> okay. What happened? I get it. The little fella's been injured. I want to save him if we can. Yeah, we gotta save the little fella. <gasps> the transmission from Akihiko ended. It's just little fella. <laughs> Who is he talking about? Is it a singular ant? Who cares about a singular ant? Beats me. At any rate, let's go. Back at the shrine, a white dog is lying on its side, covered in blood. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my God! Koro-chan, are you okay, Koro-chan? It's the most emotive. You know this dog? She's been all game. What the? Yeah, everyone around here does. We have to help him. First, we must stop the bleeding. Man, he's one tough fighter. Almost as tough as me. Hmm. He defeated that shadow all by himself. Wait, does that mean that this dog's a Persona user? Why the heck not? He says, this is a place of peace, so I protected it. There are flowers over there. Just as I guess said, there are flowers placed near the side of the shrine gate. Those flowers. They must be for the priest who died in the accident. So, he really was guarding this place. Uh, I guess. Don't tell me you can translate dog language, too. Canines do not have their own language. However, speech is not the only means of communication. This fella really is a rare breed. Confirmed. <laughs> He's not the only one. All right, let's report to the chairman so we can conclude this mission. As for a vet, it may be midnight, but I believe I can arrange for one. Good job, boy. You're one amazing dog. How is this going to happen, though? Like, like, what? Is it ethical to let Koromaru fight shadows? I don't know, man. But Mitsuru is just, well, he doesn't have the potential. Get on the team. The special training mission for tennis continues. It is not very exciting. I was kind of pumped up. I was like, wow, what is this going to entail? Literally effing nothing. You trained all day. Christ. I'm surprised you got that. Awesome. You improved a lot. You're serious about this, aren't you? At this rate, you'll get better and better. Entire team's like, duh, freaking hate Rio to positive reinforcement for you. The veterinarian told me that Kormar is in a stable condition. The wound was severe, but fortunately, it wasn't a damage to his internal organs. She says that so robotically. <laughs> Katone, the pupper is going to be alive! Is that what I'm expecting? No, but like, man, who's the real robot? Kermaru's an alpha dog. He must be a pure breed. Okay. Dude, everything's so messed up, yo. Shadows are going for dogs? Hate it here, man. First a robot can use a persona, and now a dog can? What's next, a monkey? They predicted the future. That's next level foreshadowing. Oh my god. Dude, my joke's been corny today, bro. But anyway, Tanaka. We're a lot of on social links today. Let's hang, brother. What you got? What you been up to? This middle-aged man. Oh my god, am I middle-aged now? Ugh. Today's lesson is called, The Smaller the Dog, the Louder Its Bark. Oh, how timely. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to see through people's bathing suits at the... No. Well, maybe as a little boy, but... <laughs> Katoni would probably answer honestly. Be like, yeah, you know, just like... I don't know, does the carpet match the drapes? I just want to know. <laughs> you have a pretty face. But inside, you're a middle-aged ma- I was RPing! Can we use that angle in a campaign? A girl who can talk with the middle-aged. <laughs> it won't last. <laughs> he still is enthused. Our company has introduced a special filter for digital cameras. <laughs> Simply attach it to your camera and voila, start peeping. We've been advertising it in the adult magazines. Our ad slogan is undress them with your camera eye. It's been selling like hotcakes. In fact, it's our number one seller. Unfortunately, customers have been complaining that it doesn't work. 
I never said anything about that. I told my employees to just ignore them. Now, nowhere does it guarantee you'll be able to see anything. And that's kind of like, yeah, if you take that to court, it's like, oh, you pervert. Why'd you even buy that? And it's not like anyone would actually admit, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, try to cut back on the donuts and cupcakes. I have an idea for an ad campaign. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. I work out. And keep And keep playing around at night to a minimum. The innocent look may be old, but being viewed as promiscuous is still a minus for your image. Yo, he is like old, old school. No, 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 don't ever eat a sweet or have any fun. And rumor has it you've been bench pressing a toddler at the local shrine? What are you trying to prove, missy? You're act, and you, you, you act in front of the man you want, right? You don't need to do the same for, you need to do the same for customers. Dude, is this, is this real life? I mean, dude, I'm not even like, like do people actually think this way? Like, this is like cartoon crap. Honestly, I kind of believe it, though. Because he is like, you know, he's a Japanese businessman. He's kind of old school. He's kind of old. But like, bro, let people, you know. Like, <sighs> have, have you been keeping your promise? Yes. If you go back to your word. It won't be your fault if a lot of pizzas are delivered to you. Dude, that's been going around. What an actual... I regret spending time here. Ugh. Now what, Pharaohs? There is less than one week. You really should stop goofing off. I got volleyball to play, and I can't beat the tower guy. He's too good. Ugh. Good evening. Yo, what's up? It's becoming quite lively around you. No kidding. So, how are you getting along with the others? Barely at all. I'm starting to think it's my fault. They put their lives in your hands, and you in theirs. You should have more respect for them. I'm sorry, we just... We're, we're big personalities. We argue. It is one week until the next full moon. Are you prepared? <laughs> to be honest, I'm not too worried about you. <laughs> really? However, you should still remain cautious. I'll come to see you again. Dang, if I guess I actually did sit in our room, we could ask her, Hey, did you see that kid? Like, did you, did you see him? Like, he's real, right? Stinking Yukari. Always, <laughs> even though I said, you know... Hit the road, Jack! Anyway, this is the final day of our training. You trained all day for August 1st, which is still... Oh, wait. Yeah, one more day away. Come on, don't think about catching it with your stick. Pump those legs and get around it! We'll be laughing socks tomorrow if we don't prep. See? See? Loki, I do not got time for this. We need to train. Aki, what's up? Kurumaru did great. He protected what he was supposed to protect. He's a... Uh... Good. <laughs> Dog. Oh, he's crying into his ramen. That's odd. Hey there. You all stay up so late. <laughs> I try to stay up as late as you guys. I'm always the first one to fall asleep. What do you guys do when you're up so late? Why is that? Oh my god. Uh, I study for, for the most part. High school must be really hard. Yeah, it is for some of us. Yo! We actually maxed out where there's only one stat left in the game to get up. That's nuts, So, I'm almost free. Holy crud. This game's gotta be a lot more forgiving than I thought. But the two-day training camp begins. That means there's another Sunday I can't go see the dude in the park. What? You boarded the train with your fellow athletes and arrived at the high school. Yasuo Inabahai. Dang, I got chills. It's been a while since I've heard this song. A joint practice with the students at this school and scheduled for today and tomorrow. What a rustic school! There's no convenience stores nearby. No clubs either. Dang, I guess Junus wasn't built yet. Oh, I'm spoiling. I'm sorry. I want all you to be on your best behavior, okay? It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure for us to... Ha 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 ha! Yeah, typical. Japanese style of just greeting, I guess. Let's start with basic drills. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Anyway, let's torture ourselves. Might as well try going all the way to the mountains for our runs. You freaking, you're so, I would actually do that though. That sounds fun. Our region's pretty flat. It's supposed to be good practice. But, but the, the course is flat. I, are we supposed to like bond and like a fellowship or something? Why should I bring up stuff like basic drills? Who's, who's the liar who said this would be a paradise with hot springs? 
<laughs> we got trolled. Afterward, let's do a set of muscle training and then a match. How about the losing side cleans up afterwards? Hee <laughs> What? Yuko? What are you doing here? I got my reasons. Anyway, when you guys take the challenge more seriously, if there's something at stake... I don't... I don't know about that. I'm trying to have a vacation, but... Like, uh, it'd be faster if we all work together. It's not like you guys usually care about winning anyway, so why not? Are you saying that's how our team is? We don't care? We don't have overwhelming amounts of zeal? Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> all right. Then not only will we be losing school have to clean up, let's add 10 win sprints to the bet. That's just... Why are you so extra? It's up to 10 now. I hate it here. We can't lose. Yasuo yeah, Inaba. They're down. All right. We finally finished cleaning up. We lost instantly. <laughs> hey, those Enable girls don't play around. Okay, time for sprints. Me too. Of course, it was your idea. Why did I, uh, I open my mouth? Yes, ma'am. The fellowship ended without any problems. Everyone got along. How rare. It seems an inn has been prepared for your stay. I wonder what inn it is. Did you hear they have a natural hot spring there? <laughs> Wanna wash each other's backs later? I'm good. Uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway. Man, isn't this fun? Last year's fellowship wasn't too far from way from school. This place is so laid back. I kind of love it. The shopping district seems pretty lively, though. What a peaceful town. It'd be nice to live here. Yeah, instead of our crazy town. At that moment, a girl noticed you and came over. Dang, I didn't know she was in the same scene as Rio. So I've known about this for years, but... Are you the club members from GeckoCon High? The Amagi Inn sent me to get you. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's like I'm looking to a mirror. You don't work there, do you? No, I'm just helping out. I'm Yukiko Amagi, the daughter of the hot hostess of the Amagi Inn. The hostess's daughter? So does that mean you're a junior hostess? Cool! Oh... Are you in high school? No, I'm still in middle school. You're in middle school and you're already helping with the family business. Talk about responsible. So are you going to inherit the business? <sighs> oh, you... Uh... I don't know yet. Don't stick your nose in other people's businesses, Yuko! Yes, ma'am. Sorry, people are always telling me I'm nosy. Oh, that's alright. It won't give me a complex or anything. It's fun chatting with people from outside of town. Yuki-chan, did you take the car keys? <laughs> oh, Kasai-chan. Wow, oh, she's in this? That's such a weird name, Joe. Why, but, uh, what's this? Yukiko pulled something from her pocket. It seems to be car keys. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have mistaken them for my house keys. <laughs> no worries. Well, I'm heading out to get some groceries. Do you want me to go instead? No, that's fine. No need to send you on that kind of errand, Yuki-chan. Plus, they'd be too heavy for you. Dang, saying Yukiko can't lift the frick. By the way, Chie-san stopped by. She said she needed help with her homework. Oh, okay. Are you all guests? Forgive me for rambling. I'm a waitress at the Amagi Inn. Hope you enjoy your stay. Hmm. The waitress left. I'm sorry about the wait. Shall we go? This way, please. <laughs> that was not the scene I expected. Huh. Still playing the goddamn music. Nuts! This seems to be this town's finest and longest established inn. Ooh. So huge. So luxurious. Is it really okay for people like us to stay here? When we get a scolding? Dang. The city folk think they're not good enough for the inn. And the Amagi people don't think they're good enough for the city folk. That's relatable. Anyway. Oh, well, if we, you know, I'll be discreet. I'll just sleep in the, in the tub. It's fine. I feel bad for sleeping on such a nice futon. What are you talking about? Hey, this isn't your room, Yuko. You're not even with us. What the? Yeah, about that. You gotta hear this. There was some mix up and I got stuck in the same room as Kaz. Kazuishi? Wait, he's here too? Wasn't Kazuishi supposed to be part in the tournament? I was supposed to stay behind to sort of look after him. He's injured, so we're trying a hot spring cure. Oh my God. I'm going to get the most out of this trip by clearing up my skin, too. Huh. Gee. Uh, wait. 
Do you say you're in the same room? Kazuishi's a guy! He's a big old girl on the inside, but on the outside, yeah, he's a guy. What did she mean by that? What did she mean by that? What the dub? What the dub? Miss Kano's assigned to the rooms, right? The heck was she thinking? She's probably not thinking a lot. But yeah, you can just stay in our room. Come on, we got room. Man, I owe you the offering. If I couldn't sleep here, I'd have to sleep in the hall. I mean, I'd have kicked Kaz out into the hall, of course. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he hurts his leg even more. By the way, Kazuishi's injury. Is he okay? No, it's pretty bad. That's why we're relying on the hot spring. Yo, good luck. That's not gonna... That's not gonna... You gotta get a doctor! <sighs> that idiot didn't say anything about it for the longest time. Thanks to that, it's gotten even worse. He's such an idiot. A total dummy. He got me so worried. Sounds like you two are perfect for each other. Ryo, you need to hush your mouth. She, you're the... You're... you What goes around comes around, literally. Like, you teased, and now you're teasing her? This is effed up. You learn nothing! You learn nothing! <laughs> you gotta be... Wait. Uh, what, what time is it? It's, it's time for Kaz's medicine. I'll see you later. Did she like him like that? I don't even think so. Ryo, come on. She can say whatever she wants. But she's taking pretty good care of him. <laughs> she's kind of like a mom. Though I know she'd hate it if I told her that. Well, I'll keep that to myself. After taking a bath with everyone, you lazily talked about random things on the futon. Sounds like a good trip. Isn't there something more appropriate to talk about at times like this? Uh, dude, wow. It's just boys. There's a test, right, where it's like, if two girls are on screen in a movie, will they talk about a boy or not? Like, god dang, I guess, the, I guess Persona 3 failed. Am I surprised? No, but... Hmm... Let's talk about our boyfriends. Tony, you ain't got, you got... You're close to Junpei, of all people. Like confessing our love. Exactly. Well, I'd be confessing my love if there was anyone I really liked. For a thin guy. But he'd have to be athletic. And have really long hair. And a messiah complex. Wait. Anyway. There's no one like that score. <laughs> what about Kazuichi? Eww, no! The walls are so thin, he hears this. He's just like, all right, if I, if I wasn't hurting enough, now I am. But I do have this feeling. This is just an if, okay? If Kazumi don't end up finding someone for a long, 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 long time, I have this feeling I might end up getting married to him. Wow. Dude, if I ain't your... Yo! I'd be destroyed hearing that. Well, if no one else was around, I guess I'd settle for you. Like, what should I do? What kind of premonition is that? I mean, he's completely useless without me, so I pretty much have to. There's no way he'll ever remember he keeps... There's no way he'll even remember where he keeps his underwear. He's beyond helping then, Yuko. Imagine him getting all old, alone, and eating nasty convenience store food every day. It's just so sad. I gotta come and rescue him. Ah, you really don't. That's not going to happen. No, it's just that it's obvious. I can tell just by looking at him. She okay? She admit you like him. So how about you, Katone-san? You got someone you like, right? Maybe. Oh come on! Don't beat around the bush. Where there's this guy, and he hangs out in an alleyway, and he smells like poop. Then again, we haven't named any names either, right? When we open up to you, you don't have to tell us to. You two seem like you're having fun, and I don't like that. I really get that sort of thing. Ugh, I don't want to think anymore about the future with Kaz. Yeah, let's change the subject. How about we talk about ghost stories? That's fine with me. I don't scare easily. I do know a lot of stories, though. Let's hear them. Though the way you say that has already given me goosebumps. One sec. So I realize Yuko and Ryo's voices are effing identical. My bad! A male student's voice, what? What do you want? I was going to sleep. Just shut it. Hey guys, I bought him. What? You brought him? Kazuishi! MP3P! Hey! Hey, this is a girl's room. I'm not allowed to be here. Ugh. God dang, bro. They did him dirty. Look at that forehead. Oh my god. Never processed it. Homies receding that 17. <sighs> That's rough, bro. That's rough. He could shave and be a monk, though. He'll be all right. It's okay. Just stay here, okay? Rio, do your worst. 
Is he your good luck charm? <laughs> no, I just want him to be here. Oh, well, you said he was helpless, right? It's the exact opposite. If Kazuishi weren't around, oh, she'd be scared. Ugh, shut up! And don't tell him that! You're supposed to tell scary stories with four people. That's the rule. Okay. Come on, hurry up and let's go. In order! All right, I'll go first. The story's about the tunnel we passed through today. <gasps> A blackout? D don't choke me! Get off! You're stepping on my foot! Ah! The lights are back. Oh, wait, where is the phone? You could start calling somewhere? Hello, front desk. The, about the blackout just now? There... There was no blackout? What? What is happening? Oh, thanks. What are we gonna do? That was a real supernatural phenomenon. The lights flickered, bruh. Get over it. Lights always turn on and off, though. Ugh, you're an idiot. The fact that they went off without anyone touching them. What does that mean? Huh? Let's just stop talking about it. I'm pretending that never happened. Jeez, this is, uh... Effing bizarre. The remote from the lights is on the ground near your foot. <laughs> Whoopsies! You may have been the one who turned the lights off. You decide to keep quiet about that. That's fine. Oh, we didn't get to hear a ghost story. A noisy but fun night passes. That scene was actually cool. I'm I'm legitimately glad I got to experience that. After a light joint practice at Yasu Inaba High School, the time has come to part. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you guys, you nameless individuals. Well, thanks a bunch for your help. We'll remember what we learned here and keep trying our hardest. Thank you very much. Have a safe trip back. Guess we should head back too. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I just didn't get any sleep because the lights flickered a single time in a rundown inn. Like, I'm scared of everything, bro, but that that's a that's a bit. I saw people's faces in the walls. <laughs> You're just exaggerating. Want me to give you a piggyback ride if you're not feeling well? You were more on your leg hurts. We fall down instantly. What, what are you talking about? I'd rather give you a piggyback ride. <laughs> you see, you're exaggerating again. Please come again. Oh, thanks for taking the time to see us off. You random girl. <laughs> she said she saw people's faces show up in the walls. You guys should get that looked at. Ugh, you idiot. Don't tell her that. Wait, do you see them too? They're always... Wait, there's always a few at the old inns. So there's no need to worry. There's always a few? What the... <laughs> I'm just joking. That was definitely not a joke. You were awful. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. Well then, I must part here. Please have a safe trip back. Right back at you, even though I don't think you're going far. Don't tell me. She's not a ghost herself, is she? Pretty sure. I mean, she was real cute. Maybe she was one. <gasps> real cute girls are ghosts? That's all the proof I need to know you're human. Dang! 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 Just, that's revenge, bro. Say that in my face. I'll break your other leg. Hey, stop trying to... Stop stepping on my foot! Ah! That reminds me. I got a call about the tournament a moment ago. They told me that Nimura at Sanhai was a no-show. Not only that, they couldn't find him at his house either. Does that mean he's missing? Did he run away from home? He was freaked about the competition. Huh. Oh, wait. Is it because of that apathy syndrome thing? Wait, so it's out here too? No, I think that's a I think that's a student Yasogami. Or no, our school. No idea. Hopefully he shows up soon. He was a great guy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's go home. Come on, let's do our clap and put this to bed. You're the one leading the clap. Like, what the? I guess they go, thank you for your stand. Yeah, I've, I've seen that in anime before. Not, I just... I'm a sucker for those events where everyone shows up. They don't have to do it, but they're little cameos. I like them. This game's full of them. So, how the training camp go? Are there any cute girls at their school? Uh, there was one beautiful girl. Isn't she a lot younger than you, Katoni? I'm not picking that. Yep, there was this really beautiful girl. It's a shame her face was stuck in a wall. Uh, seriously? Man, I should've gone with you guys. Is that all you ever think about? One singular girl. Dude, you're an idiot. The moon's almost full. You shouldn't be joking around like that. Yeah. Next Thursday's the 6th. Make sure you're ready. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not ready, bro. 
I'll figure something out. But yeah, we have to go to Tartarus. So, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go grind up in Tartarus again. All in all, I guess it's kind of beefy right now, but dude, I know she can't do it herself. Maybe if we get lucky, we can slack off and I guess can just beat the boss for us. She's got the stats. We'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.